everyone, uh, Cameron here for Swift Devs. Today we are taking a look once again at our Hello World tutorial. If you have not uh, done our Hello World tutorials, we have two of them. Well, one we have our first Hello World tutorial which gets you started, which does uh, this label button and other button. Then we have our uh, changing views video and which is where we are switching screens and we're going off of that and is what we're doing is we're taking a look at these and we're changing the animation and we're gonna load this up here this may take some time to load up uh, because of the uh, iPhone uh, simulator is very slow so we're gonna take our time on this today uh, hopefully we'll get done with this in about five minutes shouldn't take too long the only thing that takes long is the simulator. So, other than that, we should be fine. So as we wait for the simulator to come up, uh, I just want to talk about our Twitter page. If you have not checked that out, Swift Devs is our Twitter username. Go ahead, check that out. Uh, we are one of the largest Swift developer communities out there on the web right now, and uh, we'd really like it if you would follow us on Twitter. Um, great information is posted there, and uh, videos, anything from videos to web articles about Swift, uh, it's all very valuable. And right now, you really want to be soaking that stuff in, uh, because I mean, Swift is a new language. There's a lot of, um, I guess, competitors out there and you kinda wanna get ahead so you wanna be soaking up this stuff uh, very quickly so alright we have our iPhone 5 it's loading and I wanna show you how it changes um, how it changes screens it, it uses the same animation and it looks kinda uh, cruddy um, crappy I mean whatever whatever you wanna use uh, it doesn't look very good it slides up whoop de doo but it slides up each time so I mean, I don't know, I mean, it looks kind of like a treadmill to me. So we're going to change the animations on this, and yeah. So alright, we'll take a look here at our main controller, or, and our main storyboard, and go ahead, you see, you see these lines right here, and then you got another one coming back, behind it, and back in. Select one of those. Right here, if you look in your uh, attributes inspector, I uh, it has these options and you can do show also known as push show detail uh, present modely and present as popover we're going to do present modely and now you have a presentation like uh, what do you want it to look like kinda I mean that's kinda what it uh, is supposed to be I'm just gonna go default but transition we have a couple of different transitions that we can do we can do partial curl we're gonna show you this and let's get it to load again. All right. So now when we click on our change icon, would you look at that? Now, this still uh, goes up but we can change that. Go ahead, click on the other arrow. We're going to go to present modely. And we can do cross dissolve. We can do that. So now it flips up, but then it just kind of fades in the next one. Or you can take both of them and just make it so that they can't animate which doesn't really look good on an app. Apple definitely does not like it when you do that. So I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, that's what happens when it's not animated. We're going to go ahead and let it animate, though. So that's just a basic way to change uh, the way how it, uh, uh, just the way how it animates. Very basic, very simple. No programming in this uh, for these animations. Now, maybe in the future we'll go into detail on uh, how to program and animate it through programming, uh, but we won't be doing that today. Anyway, I'm Cameron for Swift Devs. Make sure to check out our Twitter page, 
and uh, I hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe.